Florida is leading the country when it comes to newly diagnosed HIV infection. The CDC says there are about 1.2 million people living with the virus right now in the United States. Gay and bisexual men account for about 65% of all the new cases, even though they only make up 2% of the population, making them more susceptible to contracting the virus. We're seeing a decrease in the rate of HIV infections among gay and bisexual white men, but the rate remains stable for African American and Latino gay and bisexual men. The CDC believes this disparity is due to a lack of access to health care and prevention education. But one of the HIV preventatives that's making a real difference in curbing new cases is taking a medication that prevents HIV infections, commonly called PrEP. And this is where our in-depth reporter Anthony Hill comes in tonight. He found out about a new PrEP option. It's an injection administered once every two months. There is a new treatment called Apertude which can be given as an injection. The injection of Apertude, like other PrEP medicine, is given to prevent a person from becoming infected with HIV, the virus that can cause AIDS. Apertude was recently approved by the FDA and became available in February. Love the Golden Rule Clinic in St. Petersburg is the first in our area to administer the new drug. This is a brand new front. You know, we're, we're on a new track here in HIV care. It's available for men, women, and adolescents. And the other thing we need to talk about PrEP is it's available for heterosexuals as well. Being prescribed PrEP usually means taking a pill every day. But Dr. Bob Wallace says Apertude is best for people who often forget to take their meds. Many people have trouble taking a pill once a day. This is considered to be groundbreaking in the fight to prevent the spread of HIV. But Dr. Wallace is concerned that the people who need it most can't get it. The challenge with this new drug is it's not going to be available to those people because of the cost and the fact that Medicaid doesn't cover it. Without insurance, patients will pay about $5,000 for each injection, a price Dr. Wallace says should eventually come down. In the meantime, health officials are trying to get more people on PrEP by prescribing Discovy and Truvada, which are taken in pill form. The CDC says less than half of all gay and bisexual men take advantage of PrEP, even though most insurance companies pay for some or all of the costs. I have to continue to uh, encourage people to remember that we do have the oral available now and that those medications are over 99.5% effective in reducing the risk of HIV infection. For more information on HIV preventatives, just head over to our website, abcactionnews.com. I'll be sure to post a link to more information. In St. Petersburg, I'm in depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News. Anthony, thank you. Meanwhile, the oral version of PrEP was approved by the FDA back in 2012. Well,